My name is Alex Bever. I'm NSP Product Manager and today I show you the benefits of NSP managing a multi-vendor network. So what you can see here on the screen, you have the multi-layer network, you have the optical management and the IP management and on top you have OSS system. Traditionally this is the way you manage the network. But of course what you can see if you have optical and IP managed separately, you need to have manual process to, to create these cross domain links. And creating these cross domain links manually is an error prone process. So instantly you have to do that almost in blind flight because you don't have any visibility on that. So this causes, uh, can cause a lot of issues. So it's estimated that about 10% of the inventory in network management systems is faulty just because of these manual processes. So what is the solution for you? How can you, can you avoid these issues? You can avoid these issues if you have a reliable carrier grade tool which allows you to capture and visualize the whole network. So NSP is the solution for you with the cross-domain optical application which is embedded in the NSP as an optical, as an optional module which will allow you not only to discover the network, but also to, to visualize the complete uh, deployment or architecture, both on the IP and the optical side. And also with the inherent capabilities of this cross-domain application, you will be able to coordinate and optimize your traffic steering. For you as a network provider, what are the benefits for you if you are using that multi-layer coordination? So benefits, depending on the use cases you have, you can have capex savings and these savings you get by use cases for optimizing the protection architecture. We have use cases such as one-to-end floating router port protection and this one is one of the major ones for the capex savings, avoid outages. So how can you make your network more resilient? The resiliency of, of your network you can achieve by applying various uh, use cases, you have the ability to analyze all your parcels in the network going over IP and optics. With this analysis of the parcels, you find out the shared risks and the shared risks, when you find these out, you can avoid these shared risks. The other use case in that area is when you have these shared risks in the optical domain, you can provide these to your IP routing engine and then the IP routing engine takes this into account and you, for example, can create two disjoint LSP paths over the IP and the optical domain. And last but not least, there are more efficient operations. So how can you streamline your operations? Streamlining your operations is very important and you have many use cases. One of them is coordinated maintenance. So if you want to apply an IP uh, or if you want to put an optical fiber into maintenance, then we have the ability to check on the IP traffic very easily and then this avoids that you get hit, get any traffic hits because you can proactively reroute the traffic. Now we are going into the use cases of NSP in the multi-layer network coordination and optimization. So you will see some of the things I showed you on the benefit slide in the uh, introduction. So here that's the launch pad of NSP. We scroll down, here is the cross-domain application. I have opened it here. So this, now you have the full topology view of your network. So what I explained in the original slide, these are the cross-domain links. So making the link between the optical domain, which is in the middle, and the IP domains on the outside. These have already been discovered in that setup, but I'll show you the process how this works. So we can go into that screen. There are methods with LLDP discovery scheme. So you can click on one of the options here or you can also take all three. Continue and then you have the choice either to apply that algorithm to just one network element, the controller or the complete network. If you choose the complete network, then we can continue 
on the action, and then the system is doing a scan. So it's scanning all the uh, IP and optical nodes and trying to make the connection between the IP and optical domain to, to get these uh, cross-domain links so that you don't have to do that in manual uh, way. Uh, in this case, we already have uh, discovered the links, so they are no, no more of them are found, but this is the process how it goes. If you as a customer don't have LLDP deployed or LLDP snooping on the optical side, we will bring out in the new release a heuristic scheme so you are independent of, of that particular technology. Now I'm going to show you another use case uh, which provides you additional benefit with respect to that uh, makes your network more resilient. So we have a analysis tool and this you can apply for link layers. This means these are the connections between routers going over optical uh, domain or you can apply that for IP services. And it means that you can define, for example, a group of link layer interconnects which you want to be routed disjoint. And then the uh, system can do a uh, analysis, either they, you can specify a certain time when it runs or you can do a ad hoc report. So now I've run that demo through and you can see there is a failure indication. That means that we have two of these uh, link layer interconnects are running over the same optical link and we can also display that on the map. So you will be able to see, let's just display all of them. So here you will see these are all the link layer interconnects and here on that one it's highlighted in, in black. You will see the details of the link layer interconnects which share that risk. And by you, having that use case and having that indication you can then reroute one of the LLL, LLIs and take out the, the risk and thus make your network more resilient. Now I'm going to show you the next use case that's more in the side of the coordinated activities between IP and optical, so the navigation. So here, as, we have, uh, as I've shown before, we've got the optical domain. You can click on the optical fiber. You will get some details here. But you have, in addition, these navigation possibilities. So we have the navigation possibilities to the LLIs, which are the direct router connections. And it's also possible to display them in a multi-layer view. So I just went on that and so you can see also for troubleshooting where the exact issue occurs, whether it's in the optical domain or in the IP domain. Then we go back here. We've got, we've got another way of uh, navigating. We've got the view here on the IP services. So if we have any IP services running over that optical link, you, the system will find it and you also be able to display it. So you will see with one instance very quickly on which IP services are running over that optical infrastructure. So this is now highlighted on the screen. So we go back. Then to the final uh, navigation possibilities, again clicking on the optical fiber. And now we go to the IGP links. Here you can see the IGP links running over that optical fiber. Now I'm showing you a use case, uh, which is the coordinated maintenance. So you can go on the optical fiber. For example, if you want to bring in maintenance activities on, on that optical line, then you can go to the IGP links, see the uh, IP topology, and bring these, uh, these link pairs then in maintenance. Before that, I show you the IP um, IP domain, here you can see it on that uh, from our SDN IP controller. The screen does not have the optical in there, but it shows you I've highlighted two LSPs which are running over these links between the routers. And now we can put these into maintenance. And we jump back. And there you will see that the link is now highlighted in purple color and 
the LSP is automatically rerouted. So I put in the mode of auto rerouting. You could have done that also manual, but at least it's a way to find for you or to, to have a view on. It's a good way for you to understand how the um, IP routing is done and that you can do that automat automatically. Now I'm showing you a use case which uh, helps you to perform IP routing optimized, taking the optical traffic engineering parameters into consideration. We've got here on the IP domain, we've got a LSP set up and this LSP has as the optimization criteria the latency. I can show you on the um, profile here that this is the latency profile, profile 3, and the focus is on, late, on, the, on the latency. So it will be optimized latency based. So we can go back here. So this here, it's, uh, you, you see the LSP again, then we jump to the cross domain coordinator and go to the IP optical correlation. So this is the screen where all the information also from the optical domain is captured. So you see the IGP links, but they have the correlated information on the optical side. We have, in our case, the interesting part is the correlated latency. So now we perform that action and upload the latency. So now we jump back to the um, IP view. And what I've done in, in that model is that I've not automatically re-root the LSP. I've put in the option to manually just to show it to you a bit better. So in that case, now we can go to the LSP. I can go to the re-signal. And then now the IP routing engine has that information available from the optical domain. And as you can see on the screen, the path is rerouted because it understood that in the optical domain where the original LSP was going, there was a higher latency reduced. So now it has chosen the actual lowest latency path. The use case I'm going to show you now is also a, a use case where it's not based on the latency, but on the shared risk. So for that, I have depicted the two LSPs. So they have a profile disjointness. As you can see, they run here disjoint. But as we have seen in the, in the demo between the uh, router S3, or between here, this is, they both, both of them are running over the same optical fiber. So we can go to the cross domain coordinator again, and maybe show the map just quickly here on that optical fiber. If we go to the IGP links. So you could see that both of these IGP link pairs are running over the same optical fiber. Now what we can do is we can upload the SRLG information. So now what we have done, we have uploaded that information from the system, from the cross domain coordinator on the optical side to the uh, IP routing. And then the IP routing should take the action and the rerouting should start. So again, I have to say, I have to put in the manual mode here just to show you better on the screen. Otherwise, you could also put in the auto mode, then it would re-signal automatically. So you already have seen the action here that now it's being avoided to go to the same optical fiber, meaning the same shared risk. So now you have the network, uh, you have a more resilient network. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed all the use cases and also can apply these use cases into your network and see the advantages of that product. Thank you very much.